Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 Mode. Thank you for tuning into the video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future video. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out the rain and snow mode or snow and wet mode for the 2019 Mustang GT. This mode is available for all the Mustangs that have at least a 101A package on your EcoBoost or a 301A package on your GTs. Uh, pretty much from 2015 all the way to 2021. As you can see, it's currently raining right now. So I figured it might be a good time. It's pretty bad right now, actually. It's raining. I would love to try it on snow too, maybe for next winter. But let's get the car started and I'll give you my first few impressions of how this really drives. All right. It's trying to get really, really bad. Um, All right. As you can see, I can, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but it's boring currently. So I thought it'd be nice to try it out and to activate the rain and snow or snow and wet mode, this is how you do it. You probably have the toggle switches if you got the 101A or 301A package. And currently you can see I am in normal mode and we'll get that switched over. So I flip it through and sport, track, drag mode, snow and wet mode. All right, so I'll give you my first impression. Let's put it in drive. Wiper is going at least. All right. Right off the bat, the throttle is very, very sluggish. Oops, park brake engaged. Maybe that's why? Nope. All right, throttle is extremely sluggish. All right, let's get going. Get on the road. Yeah, when normally with the sport mode, we all, we all know that the throttle sensitivity gets a lot higher and it's very responsive. With normal mode, it kind of feels sluggish. Snow and wet mode makes the normal mode feel slug or feel sporty, not sluggish. Sorry. Uh, the right off the bat, you can notice like as I input with my throttle, the RPMs barely move uh, because that's obviously to help out with the traction. You don't want the RPMs to be moving too fast where this car is spinning and sliding all over the place, making that Mustang meme. I'm giving it very decent gas and it's barely moving. So do I think the rain and snow mode is pretty much catch all? I don't think so. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not, it doesn't give your car all wheel drive or it gives you a magical ability with like the better tires. No, you still have the same tires. You are disadvantaged because it is a rear wheel drive car, which means powerful engine, short deck, it just doesn't help with that. So you're just gonna be disadvantaged there to begin with. I mean, even EcoBoost are making 300 horsepower, which is pretty powerful by today's standard. So make no mistake, these Mustangs are powerful cars. And you got real wheel drive in it. It just has the ability to slide when you don't want to. However, what it really does help with is eliminates user error. If you're new to the you know, rear wheel drive platforms, even if you have an EcoBoost or a V8, it eliminates that where you are, you know, in putting too much gas, causing the wheels to spin and causing, you know, what the Mustangs apparently have been known for, which is crowd killers. So it helps with that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's not gonna completely eliminate it, but it's very, Obviously your best bet is to be as careful as you possibly can, but the rain and snow mode kind of helps you out and restricts your throttle input, which is like the very common thing that if you're driving a rear wheel drive car and you're not really used to it, you kind of run into this issue where you put too much gas and the car is gonna spin and crash into the crowd. With the rain and snow mode, it's severely gonna restrict your throttle and helps you out with that so you're not crashing into crowds. So me personally, I highly recommend using the snow and wet mode, especially with the rain situation. Uh, especially if you're new to the rear wheel drive platform, it's really gonna help you out to not cause any accidents and be a safe driver for everyone on the road. 
So guys, there it is. I personally love using snow and wet mode on my 2019 Mustang GT. It really helps out with the rainy conditions to kind of avoid anything stupid. Now, personally, I would highly recommend using that if you've got even an EcoBoost. They are powerful cars. Uh, it just helps eliminate some of the user error. So highly recommend it. And that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Red50 for more videos.